Hello, my friends. Enrico De Pauli, Make Secrets TV. I'm here at my Incrível Mundo studio, and I'm going to show you a quick thing I did with uh, a synth in a session of a song of mine I'm working on. So I have a, um, um, a regular synth pattern, which I'm going to play for you and uh take a listen how it sounds soloed then i'm gonna play it in um in the track okay now i'm gonna play it in the track as is uh i mean as uh, with all the processing I did, and um, and you check how it sounds. As you heard, uh, I did a couple of things that gave the synth a lot of movement. Now I'm gonna play it soloed with all the uh, processing I did, so you you really understand what I mean. Let's go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I, what I did. Well, the synth originally, you heard how it sounded. So I added one of these really neat plugins by Waves from the One Knob series. And this One Knob filter is amazing because it's really easy to use. And um, like every EQ has its own uh, sound, every compressor has its own sound, and every filter has its own sound. You know, every most synthesizers usually have filters, but for some reason I found the filter on this one knob series to work even better on that synth than its own filter. So I'm gonna play uh, the the, uh, the track again, soloed, so you can hear what the uh, one odd filter did. Okay, now I'm gonna play it uh, unsoloed so you can hear that in the track. A lot of movement, right? Yeah. So, uh, but one thing that was kind of bugging me was that the uh, synth was was going on top of everybody else, and I wanted the uh, actual track to 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 pulse and not let the synth just go over it. So I added a R compressor um, with a real fast attack. So you 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 now see I already made it enabled. So you can see how quickly it's um, shaping the attack of the synth and bringing the synth more into the track. Let's go. Okay, uh, it's almost there. 
I really like the way the R compressor holds the synth into the track without, you know, especially when the, the, the filter opens and the synth really swells up. The R compressor does its job, you know, keeping the synth down inside the track and not over the track. But still, it was, uh, the synth was still attracting too much attention. So I did add an R um, de So this element here, this plugin, keeps the uh, sizzling, you know, the, uh, the uh, harshness, the high end of the, of the synth really controlled down into the track. So now I'm going to enable it and I'm going to play it again so you can, you know, focus your hearing to the synth in the track and you can watch what the uh, RDS is doing to the synth. Let's go. Yeah, so as you heard, you know, when the uh, synth, uh, the, the, when the filter opens and the synth swells up, the R compressor is keeping the synth in its place. And finally, the RDSer is keeping the sizzling and the harshness, you know, a lot mellower. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Enrico De Pauli, and this was the Mix Secrets TV with plugin tips. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.